need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. The Network Diagram View displays the tasks within a project in a flowchart style. You can switch to this view of your project file by clicking the Network Diagram button that appears within the Task Views button group on the View tab within the ribbon. Within this view, each task is represented by a rectangle with information about the task displayed in the lines that appear within the shape. Critical tasks appear in red, and non-critical tasks appear in blue. Tasks that are linked together will be shown with a connector line between them. You will also see the Format tab of the Network Diagram Tools Contextual tab appear within the ribbon. You can use the buttons within this tab to change visual aspects of this view. You can click on a shape to select a task. You can click into a line within the task shape to edit its contents if desired. You can also double click on a shape to open the task information dialog box where you can edit the task data and then click the OK button to save it. For most project files you will see dashed lines that represent where page breaks will appear within the view if it's printed. You can click and drag in the empty space in the view to create a new unlinked task shape. You will then need to enter the details of the task. You can also create new linked tasks by clicking and dragging from an existing task shape to create a new linked task whose details you can then enter. As you complete the tasks within your project file, you will see a single strike line appear on tasks when work has commenced. You will see a double strike through line appear over task shapes when work has been completed. You can click the Collapse Boxes button that appears in the Display button group on the Format tab of the Network Diagram Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon to collapse the display of the task shapes down to a single line that displays their outline number. You can click it again to display the task details again. To change the appearance of a selected box within this view, select a box to format and then click the box button that appears in the format button group on the format tab of the network diagram tools contextual tab within the ribbon to open the format box dialog box. Here you can select a different data template to use from the data template drop down if desired. Changing this value will change the data displayed within the details of the selected box. You can then use the shape color and width drop-down menus within the border section to set the shape, color, and width of the box border. You can check or uncheck the show horizontal lines and show vertical grid lines checkboxes within this section to show or hide the display of these types of lines within the details of the selected box. In the background section you can use the color and pattern drop-downs to set the background color and pattern for the selected box. When you're finished making your editing changes, click the OK button to apply them to the selected box. To change the appearance of a type of box, such as all critical task boxes for example, you can click the Box Styles button within the Format button group on the Format tab of the Network Diagram Tools contextual tab within the ribbon to open the Box Styles dialog box. Here you can select a box style to edit within the Style Settings 4 list. To display actual data from a box in the adjacent preview window, you can enter the ID number of the box into the Show Data from Task ID Spinner box. You can then use the same buttons that are found within the Data Template, Border, 
and background sections below. To change the box style, just as when you change a box using the format box dialog box mentioned in the preceding paragraph. When finished, click the OK button to change the general style of the selected box type. Also note that you can change the highlighted appearance of a style of boxes within this dialog box by first checking the Set Highlight Filter Style checkbox and then proceeding to make the changes you prefer. Doing this will then set the appearance of tasks that are highlighted when you use the Highlight drop-down that appears in the Data button group on the View tab in the ribbon to highlight tasks of that selected type within this view. You can click the Layout button in the Format tab of the Network Diagram Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to open the Layout dialog box. This dialog box allows you to change the layout of this particular view. You can select how to place boxes within this view by selecting a choice within the Layout Mode section. You can either place the boxes automatically or manually by selecting the desired option button. Now if you select to manually place boxes by choosing the allow manual box positioning option, then you will be able to click and drag the boxes within the view to manually arrange their positions within the view. Now if you selected the Automatically Position All Boxes option, then you can use the drop-down menus that appear within the Box Layout section to decide how to automatically arrange the boxes. You can use the Arrangement drop-down to select the general arrangement of boxes. Then for the Row and Column choices, use the Alignment, Spacing, Height, and Width settings to enter the desired alignment, spacing, row height, and column width for the selected boxes. You can then check or uncheck the checkboxes to apply or remove the following features within the view. Show summary tasks, keep tasks with their summaries, and adjust for page breaks. The link style section allows you to determine the appearance of the links between tasks in the view. You can select Rectilinear to show the default rectangular line style, or select Straight to show straight connectors between tasks. You can check the Show Arrows checkbox to display arrows on the connectors or uncheck it to remove the arrows. You can check the Show Link Labels checkbox to display labels on the connector lines that display the type of connection that's shared by the two tasks or you can uncheck the checkbox to remove the labels. The link color section allows you to determine the color of the links between linked tasks. You can manually set the link color by choosing colors from the drop-downs for non-critical tasks and critical tasks, or you can select the match predecessor box border option to make the line match the color of its predecessor task box. The Diagram Options section allows you to set the general appearance of the view. You can use the Background Color and Background Pattern drop-downs to select a color and pattern to use for the background of the diagram. You can then check or uncheck the following checkboxes to apply or remove the following general display options. Show Page Breaks, Hide All Fields Except ID, and Mark In Progress and Completed. When you're finished using the Layout dialog box, click the OK button to apply the changes to the view. Next, in the Show and Hide button group on the Format tab of the Network Diagram Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon, you can check or uncheck the boxes shown to apply or remove the listed features from the view. 
Note that this replicates the functions that are found within the layout dialog box, but in a manner that's easier to access for quick changes to the view. You can show or hide the link labels, straight links, progress marks, summary tasks, and project summary tasks within this button group. If you chose to manually arrange the boxes within the view, then you can use the buttons that are found within the Layout button group on the Format tab of the Network Diagram Tools contextual tab within the ribbon to assist you in placing the boxes on screen. This button group will not work if you have automatic box layout applied to your view. If you chose manual box positioning, you can click the Layout Now drop-down button to choose to automatically lay out selected boxes. This will apply an automatic layout according to the settings within the Layout dialog box to the selected boxes. You can choose the Layout Now choice to automatically lay out all boxes on screen. You can choose Layout Related Tasks Now to automatically lay out related tasks from the selected task, or you can choose Layout Selection Now to only automatically arrange the selected task. If you are manually arranging tasks, you can select multiple tasks at the same time by clicking each task while holding down the Shift key on your keyboard. You can then click the Align drop-down button in the Layout button group on the Format tab of the Network Diagram Tools contextual tab within the ribbon to choose a method of aligning the selected tasks from the drop-down menu that appears. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.